and stop it already news. Oh, Submitted stop. by chicken and waffles. Yeah. Mm. People with serious food allergies want imposters to stop faking it in restaurantes. Who the hell is faking allergies in restaurants? Yeah, why would they do that? Besides hipsters and other uh, forms of white people. And people that swear that they're gluten, anti-gluten or whatever. Gluten is this gluten free? Mm -hmm. Remember when we were at the uh, cruise? <laughs> there was this fucking crazy ass lady. So you know the people of the cruise are all foreigners, right? Like they have their country, like yeah. Ecuador. They have like a very international staff. Yeah. Oh, the staff, right? So the yeah, staff, yeah. they don't all know English. So she's chasing down this one guy and she's like, excuse me, is this gluten free? And then he can't really answer because he doesn't know what gluten is. So yeah, he's, it's like, at the buffet too. he's like, it's, it's pork or mm -hmm. whatever. But is it gluten free? Like as if being more fucking aggressive about it is going to make him answer better. And then he's like, I don't know, and he walked back into the kitchen and she started following him. What? Excuse me, is it gluten free? And I'm like, damn, man, this bitch is a gluten Nazi. <laughs> Fucking weird. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, Those so. Those people are weird. So a lot of people with Hopefully actual. She got diarrhea. Oh, diarrhea? Yeah. A lot of people with actual life threatening allergies are asking people. Those fakers out there to stop faking it because it's just making it harder for people that really do have allergies because waiters um, they keep hearing like oh I have an allergy to this I have an allergy to that so it's kind of like crying like the boy who cried wolf or it's just like repeatedly being said to the point where they're not even gonna care all that much anymore and it also slows down the kitchen because they have to send an allergy alert to the kitchen and then oh, just damn. causes like a whole bunch of commotion and so they're just saying like, you know, if you don't really like that certain ingredient or, you know, like just say like, can you exclude that ingredient? Don't lie and say that you're allergic because it just causes way more problems. Or don't order it. Or don't exactly. even go there. I think at the front of restaurants, there should be a sign. We don't give a fuck. And then if you go in there, they're going to make the food they want to make. And if you're scared of whatever, go to some place that is uh does give a fuck that caters to it yeah like don't be going to a chinese restaurant and be like hey are there rats in here of course there are <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. true hold the cockroach what don't you know there's a chinese restaurant yeah, we sprinkled that shit in there there's a couple <laughs> antennas and legs everywhere ew like, come on dude <sighs> that's so crazy yeah <laughs> go to one of those places like tender greens or whatever where everything's gonna be fresh and organic i know and then you go there you know what it's it's being culturally insensitive yeah how dare you go to a pho restaurant and say, ooh, you have your thumb in the bowl. That's supposed to happen. Yep. They're supposed to bring out the pho with their fucking thumbs inside the bowl. <laughs> you know oh, what I mean? nasty. So the whole extra, uh, the whole point of this is that um, these people are going to restaurants and they're like, oh, can you hold, you know, the whatever, right? Because they just don't want it in there. Is that the whole hold reason? Hold the lettuce. I'm allergic to leafy greens. There's multiple reasons. Um, so that's one of them, the fact that they just don't want that ingredient just because they're picky. They're just like, I, I'm allergic to that one ingredient, you know? So that's one. Another one is because apparently there's been like, like people in the media saying, um, if you want to cheat the, the system, just say that you're allergic to gluten and then that's how you'll get less fat in your food. Certain things like that, like these uh. little hacks. That I if see. you say you're allergic to a certain thing, then you can you can uh, raise your chances to lose weight. But then now it backfires because every time they get like one of those allergy notices in the kitchen, now they're like, who the fuck doesn't have an allergy? So exactly. now they just they don't they're not that um, strict exactly. with their requirements anymore. Yeah, and then people that are actually allergic, like with life threatening allergies, they're fucking and, dying at the yeah. front of fucking BJ's. And yeah, shit. they're scared to even like dine out because then like they don't even know if like the servers can. Are really taking their allergies serious because they hear so many mm. people having these allergies and it's really just causing a lot more harm. You go to Carl's Jr. and they're like foaming at the mouth now. <laughs> that shit happened to my niece. She recently had to go to the doctor. Oh, shit. What is she allergic to? But um, I forgot what it was, but they cross contaminated something at the jamba juice. Oh, damn. Oh. And then they're, you Jam know. Jamba juice? Jamba, jamba juice. juice. Jambara juice. The smoothie place yeah. where you got your acai bowl? Mm. Yeah, because like, it's not your fault. But all I'm saying is uh, some people need to understand that let's say there's this banana and you have your glove on and you fucking handle the banana and someone has a food allergy and you go, oh, hold on, let me get your order. Okay, you still got the banana on your fucking fingers and then you do something else, you're cross-contaminating. Instead mm -hmm. of clean taking out the glove, 
you know, and then you individually for each order, you clean and make sure that the surface and everything isn't touching. But some people don't know that, you know, so. But most people with food, food allergies though, like me, I've been living with food allergies all my life. I just don't go to those restaurants or I don't eat it. I mean, if I'm allergic to beef, I go to seafood restaurants, you know, or, or like I look at the menu and I know that this item is going to have a lot of cream or whatever and I'm not going to eat it. Yeah, or maybe they could have a sign that says we don't give a fuck about allergies. And there's some some restaurants yes. that we do give a fuck about allergies and you can choose the right one. Kind of go like uh, when you're an organ donor, it has your, like the sticker on your ID. It could be like a sticker on the restaurant, like yeah. they care. Because I think it would be fucking stupid of me for me to go to Japan and then go to a cat cafe and like, can you guys hold the cats please? <laughs> I am allergic. <laughs> don't bring out the cats, just the coffee. Yeah, but I know that there's probably a lot of fakers out there that they don't really realize like all the harm that it's causing by faking their allergies. So if you guys out there are faking allergies, now you know like the consequences. There's people that are really getting affected Should by we this. jump them if we see them in action? I think so. <laughs> Would you? Yeah, but hey, miss your fucking allergy card. If they can't produce it, beat Is the fuck out of them. Is allergy card? Do know. you have one? No. <laughs> I, I should get one. Yeah, but they're saying like to spot a faker though at a restaurant, it's like for this one instance, they, they give this one example where there was this woman that she ordered some dessert that had banana in it. And then she made a big ass deal about it. Like, I'm allergic to banana. I can't have banana. And blah, 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 blah banana, 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 whatever. At the end of it, she ended up eating that same thing. So it had banana in it. So she, like clearly she wasn't allergic. What she was just pizza. causing a big ass scene just for no reason. Mm. Well, I know that, um, well, I don't have the same experience because I don't have a life threatening allergy. Oh. It's just, inc it's just a minor inconvenience because I'll get eczema. So mm -hmm. like a couple days later, I'm like, oh my God, that ice cream was bomb, but like I'm paying for it right now. Oh. But people with like, fatal allergies, they gotta carry those EpiPens around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I know like it's as severe as like the fucking moisture of a lemon or whatever, like the dust of a peanut. Mm -hmm. And it's, you can't even see it. And then they, you know, it's like you licked it and then it, you could get a crazy reaction. Mm -hmm. So it's that I dangerous. A, I have a friend's uh, wife that is, uh, has a, what is it called? That's allergic to gluten. Oh, gluten allergy? Yeah. A real gluten allergy. A real gluten allergy. And it's so powerful that even things that are gluten free, uh, they can get a crazy stomach ache from it. Dang. Just because it's from like the same, like that manufacturing plant does have a mm -hmm. gluten free section, mm -hmm. but they might do some other stuff. And if it's oh, not yeah. extreme, uh, they'll get a stomach ache from it. Oh, damn. That's why there's labels that says uh, made in the factory that oh, make that peanuts. process yeah peanuts contains yeah. even though that product has no peanut or whatever they have to let you know that's yeah. dangerous yeah I've heard of because the having, peanut dust yeah exactly people having such severe uh, peanut allergy that even just smelling it in the room it can can like cause a crazy reaction how come no superheroes are allergic to peanuts that'd be so I tight. don't know if I know enough superheroes to it. Angela. Like, what if like Spider-Man was allergic to peanuts? They don't have any allergies. Kryptonite oh, is a form oh, of an yeah. allergy. Oh, he's allergic to green rocks. Kryptonite. I don't. Yeah. Wait, do other superheroes have any kind of like things like a kryptonite? Probably. Because Spider-Man's what pussy, right? Mary Jane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mary Jane. Gingers. Yeah, gingers. He gets hella horny he's, over gingers. Yeah, that's his weakness. What's your weakness, Michael? Uh, I'm actually allergic to broad beans. What's a broad bean? So like, um, there's two cuisines that actually use this, right? I think it's uh, French and Chinese. And it's like this uh, lima bean looking thing that's like maybe a little bit bigger. Oh, it's like a green thing? Yeah, it's I a love green. that. Oh, I can't eat those at all. Like, Do you um, die? I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna happen because it's like, I have this uh, condition. It sounds like I have AIDS, but um, it's, 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 it's this thing. You probably thing. do, but keep going. I don't have AIDS, but um, it's this thing where um, I have like a, like a, some sort of immune deficiency. <laughs> and then I'm um, so, so you don't white blood cell? Yeah, so like if I come into contact with this bean and some other stuff like aspirin, then my white blood cells might start to burst. Or maybe it's my red blood cells might start to burst. So if asp if you take aspirin and the broad bean, you'll be in big trouble? I could like Together? No, no, just separately. Like um, I don't know if I'm gonna die or just become really tired. So what do you oh. do when you get headaches? I just, I just drink water. 
I don't take medicine when I get headaches. Oh, Unless it absolutely So is it to. the Advil brand? No, it's it aspirin? aspirin. It's the aspirin. actual... Um, oh, Advil isn't even Advil. Aspirin. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, I heard Advil. Like, there's an actual yeah. drug in aspirin which um, I'm allergic to. So it's oh. like, not ibuprofen or acetaminophenes. I can take those ones. Okay, then that's good. Damn, I'm so lucky. I don't have any of that shit. And then I'm so fortunate that I live in LA because like you can just tell them like, hey, can you change it to this? And you can really customize your dishes. So I don't really run into that. Can I that. get my steak and all veggies, please? You can, but I feel like if it's not like a white people place, people will, they don't give a fuck. They're gonna look at They're you like, look, crazy. I got a fucking peanut allergy. Okay, I understand. <laughs> Compound chicken got a fucking la lot of peanuts on that motherfucker. Can't, can't, can't they sue? Like if they're like, I told them and they still got it out? No, am I driven? How are you gonna sue yeah, a place? Yeah, like attempted murder kind of thing, I don't know. <laughs> but how are you gonna sue a place where everything costs $5? It's hard to sue. Maybe. Well, McDonald's so they has like... So they won't do it to other people? Not really for money? They're gonna keep doing it because they don't even know what they're doing. I, I just try to make money, man, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't they don't know even I, know what an allergy is. Yeah. I, I I don't know allergy. What the yeah. hell allergy? Oh come on. What? No, you, I mean allergies are kind of non-existent because like yep. I told my mom that I was allergic to like eating anything that's kind of like similar to like a very spinach texture. So when you cook spinach, it has like this particular texture. And when I eat cooked spinach, I always get canker sores in my mouth. And like I told my mom that several times. She's like, that's a bullshit. You just yeah. don't want to eat it. She didn't believe me. Yeah, yeah. she was like, yeah, you don't want to eat it. You, you should just eat bitch. your vegetables. And I was yeah. like, I love vegetables, but I just can't have spinach. She's like, Ugh. Liar. Wait, and so uh, like, are allergies like an Asian American thing then? Because a well, lot of I think third world developing nation people don't understand it because they'll just die. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like they have strong genes. Like they don't get sick, all that stuff because they don't have fucking sickly ass kids just surviving off of pills and stuff. I do. I do feel like though, um, like in America when we grow up, because stuff is a lot cleaner. You know, we don't gain that um, immunity is that, you know, maybe a lot of third world kids might have yeah, when they're they growing up. Yeah, they eat parasite mm. and fucking like maggots and like all that shit. Like all of our fucking uncles and parents and all that, they fucking ate all that stuff. So they so got a strong immune system. Ha have allergies at all? No. You're, none of your mm -mm. I mean, like, if they feel funny, they don't acknowledge it as an allergy. They're they just, just like, acknowledge it as being a bitch. Yeah, they're yeah. just like, oh, I'd rather not eat this food because it, it gets me, like, it makes me feel really warm or something. Well, you they know, just like, put Tiger Mom on, on their face. Oh, like, yeah. hot and cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tiger Mom. So, like, <laughs> tiger Mom. Tiger Mom. <laughs> so, like, put tiger Mom so on the their next face. day, like, when I show my mom, like, the caker store, she's like, oh, you probably just bit yourself when you're eating. And I'm like, this is impossible. Oh, dang. <laughs> so. It's, so it's of, your fault, not the yeah, spinach. It's not, yeah, and it's like, you didn't drink enough water. I'm like, I drink plenty. <laughs> or they just go to a massage place and get beat up so something else hurts instead of... Oh, and they can forget about it. Yeah. yeah. They go, oh, I have a runny nose, but I just go get beat up by weighing over there. I don't remember about this. Yeah. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching that last episode. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we upload videos every single day for you guys. Now, to watch more videos, check them out up here.